Hey everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you all for your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and YouTube videos. We are currently growing our team and are looking to talk with tech recruiters that want to work in a flexible, autonomous role. In the description box, there is a link to more information. We are now on iTunes with our podcasts of all the shows and the news. Below is also a link. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. This week, Alibaba advances a blockchain food fraud platform to pilot phase. The new pilot program will use the blockchain-based food trust framework to track international shipments to China from Australian healthcare supplier firm Blackmores and New Zealand dairy product maker Fonterra via Alibaba's T-Mail e-commerce arm, according to a ZDNet report. This news follows the platform's year-long technological development since the first announcement of a partnership with Alibaba Australia and PwC and Blackmores in March 2017 to develop the system to counter the spread of counterfeit products. This week sees AWS launch new templates to let users quickly and easily deploy blockchain networks. According to a press release, Amazon Web Services unveiled the new AWS blockchain templates framework that allows users to quickly build and secure blockchain networks through Eurythium or Hyperledger Fabric. By simplifying the process for creating the deployment, such as blockchain networks, AWS could help its users more readily take advantage of the blockchain, focusing more of their time and attention in the apps and services that they want to build on top of it. The AWS press release said, AWS blockchain templates deploy the blockchain framework. You choose as containers on an Amazon Elastic Container Service, cluster or directly on an EC2 instance running Docker. Your blockchain network is created in your own Amazon VPC, allowing you to use your VPC subnetworks and network access control lists. This week, Google's partner Interconnect now connects your data center to the cloud with provider link. According to the Google press release, Google announced that the Google Partner Interconnect, which is a flexible means of establishing a direct connection between an on-premise data center and Google's platform for hybrid cloud deployments. Partner Interconnect allows organizations to connect Google Cloud through 23 partners around the globe. This week sees Melbourne IT rebrand itself to the Arc Group in the name of digital transformation becoming a full service digital partner. The name change sees the ASX listed company shift from selling domains and hosting to one that is service and solutions provider. The company wrote in its brand book, our market is changing, our customers needs are changing and we must change with them. Acquisition has always played an important role in our growth and evolution but never has it been more significant than in the past four years. CEO Martin Mercer said, The Melbourne IT of today is almost unrecognisable from who we were four years ago. We've gone from a business that sold domains and hosting to one of the leading providers of services and solutions to businesses embracing a digital operating model. We're ready to take the next step to become Australia's leading digital partner and to lead organisations through the maze of online challenges they face. We've created an environment where innovation thrives, a place where today's digital leaders and innovations shape the future and a culture where excellence is considered standard practice. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, Cloud Computing Recruitment Specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news. And remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And you can also check out the latest shows with David Linthicum in the podcast. There is a link below in the description box. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.